Good morning, Slut Addicts. What's going on? We're back at it again. I got a different partner today, which you'll see. Um, this is my brother-in-law, Serge. We're gonna be uh, actually riding locally around my, um, around my house today, which is pretty cool, considering trails are hardly ever open in this area since I moved out to uh, Kitchener about four years ago. So we're just waiting for a buddy who's actually just rolling in right now. We're gonna make our way literally 10 minutes down the road as our uh, launch point onto the trail. And not in sort of typical sled addicts fashion, I don't really have a plan for today. Um, we're probably just gonna bomb around and, and kind of see where we go. But uh, all trails are showing green on the map, so it should be a good day. We'll see you guys on the trail. All right, there's our buddy Nav joining us for today. Say hi, hi Nav. Guys. We're just getting uh, the sleds together getting all dressed up this is actually the first time I've launched from this area and it's literally 10 minutes down the street which is amazing so it's nice to do it uh, close to home and not have to drive every time we're driving like at least minimum three and a half four and a half hours so this, will, this should be pretty good all right boys and girls just getting ready to take off Serge is jamming to some music <laughs> Yeah, for those of you guys who aren't uh, using comms, um, I highly recommend these Cardos. We just got back from Quebec and we had our buddy Rich Outdoors. Um, we had him pick one up and so pretty much all of us are, are using uh, Cardos now, the Pack Talk Bolds, and they're phenomenal. It's a lot of fun. You can jam to music and you can talk to each other. So they're amazing. Definitely check them out. All right, we're just getting ready to leave our uh, staging area here in Kitchener just off Cossuth Road we're at the uh, compact sod which is literally like 10 minutes from my house so it's pretty cool pretty exciting I get to ride close to home I've never actually launched from here before which is awesome and literally the trail right here So it should be good. We're gonna hit the B20, is it the 209? Or sorry, B204. And we're gonna head up probably towards like Fergus area. And we've got some other guys that are riding too that are, uh, that we're gonna possibly meet somewhere along the way. So let's uh, see what it's like. I mean, it certainly ain't gonna be Quebec. Honestly, they actually keep the trails in really good shape here too, so looks like it's perfectly groomed. Yep. Fresh groom close to home. Oh my god, you can't beat it. I think we're pretty close to like the uh, Bresla Airport. A buddy of mine, Kevin, uh, he actually works there. He also is a hardcore sweater. So a lot of the riding down south, especially in my area, it's a lot of field riding. And uh, I honestly have only ridden around home probably three times since we moved to Kitchener about five years ago. So I haven't done a ton of riding here. Just stop and make sure the guys are okay. The rocks here and there, but there's lots of snow. It's pretty good. I'll do a ride on the 600R today. I haven't ridden it in a while. It's a fun sled. All right, Nav's good. Our buddy Nav is, uh, he used the snowmobile back in the day and then this year he decided he was gonna get back into it. His kids are a little older, so he's got a bit more time. And uh, we found him a really nice Skidoo 1200 XR. I used to ride one of those back in the day. Great sled. And uh, he's put a bunch of miles on it already, he loves it. Super clean, he picked it up, I think it had 4,500 K on it. It's gonna be a nice day, it's actually gonna warm up. I think we're gonna be like minus one today, so. bad either you come through these little uh, kind of forested areas and then usually you sit back out into the into the fields and you rinse and repeat 
That's pretty much what riding Southern Ontario is like. Well, we're really excited. We saw the launch of the new uh, 2022 BRP product line, and it always gets me excited. I mean, I've put on a bunch of kilometers already this year, and I've been talking to a lot of guys that really do kind of upgrade every year, so I'm thinking about sort of getting into the that kind of a rhythm, and a bunch of our guys in our group are uh, like Jesse, Costa, um, Andrew, I think everybody's going to be probably getting new sleds for next year, so we're just kind of mulling over, going to try to work the numbers and see what it really costs year over year to keep upgrading, because... I mean, realistically, if you're putting on, you know, five or six thousand K a year, I mean, it's, it's you know, you, they lose, they lose value pretty quickly. So if you can upgrade for, you know, a couple thousand bucks a year, for me, it's worth it. So I'm going to be uh, looking into that. I'm really excited to see what they've got in store for 2022 with this new Smart Shot package. It should be pretty cool. And, uh... Obviously the Mod Z guys are really excited about that one, so big horsepower with that new uh, kind of bumped up turbo now, it's about 180 horsepower, it should be a monster sled, for, uh, especially for trips like in Quebec. So we'll see, for now, I'm going to keep running this U D850, I think you guys pretty much hear me every video how crazy I am about these sleds. They're just so friggin' amazing. Fucking trails are absolutely spectacular here. They're great. Fresh groom, awesome. I heard from a buddy of mine, Freddy, who lives in the area, and he's uh, part of the Bridgeport Club, I think, or the Cambridge Club. I can't remember which one. Wow, look at this power. giant, giant house. Um, he always tells me, you know, when we do have snow, the trails are fantastic around here, and he's right. They're great. I'm sure we'll get a little bit of road running, but honestly, a little dusting of snow, everything's pretty good, so it should be all right. There are the boys. So this is pretty cool. My buddy uh, Freddie showed me this last year. A lot of folks stopped here, but there's like a TTC bus in the middle of the trail, which is hilarious. We're gonna go towards Alora anyway. So this is kind of like a warm-up track. People just hang out. We'll get a quick picture. Just stopping for a little break here in the middle of this nice little section. And I put on about 20 clicks just since we left the car and we're now getting into some snow and honestly the trails are pretty set up and they're great. Alright, so we're just coming up to a split here where 584 goes that way and B204 north goes this way towards Fergus, Alora, Elmira, so we're going to hop on this. I think it's an it's a old rail line, and uh, we're going to blast over to Fergus. So I've been uh, trying this Scott Insulator Mono Suit. Um, probably the third or fourth time I've worn it and I wore it today just to give it a little bit more of a tough. I mean they say this one's insulated. Uh, I think we're going left here. Yeah. Uh, they say this one's insulated but I do find it's a little chilly. So if you're going to wear one of these uh, insulated monosuits, at least this one in particular, you probably want to wear a base layer and a mid layer. So today I tried it with just a base layer. That's what I normally wear under my climb suit. Um, and it's certainly a little chilly, so I, my, my legs are okay, but my uh, my arms are actually a little chilly, so I could have benefited from one more layer. Also wearing my tech vest underneath, so that helps keep me uh, a little warm as well. I think we're still going to do B204 North. I don't know where that goes, so... 
like I said, I'm still kind of learning this area, so I don't really know the trails too well yet. So this will be a good day to, to learn. Everything seems to be really well marked and well signed though, which is awesome. So one thing with the gloves and OFSC, uh, look at this, perfectly groomed. Um, I usually find they're really well signed. Pretty much any new areas that I, I go to. find your way, plus I got the GPS, which uh, I haven't really looked at too much, I guess I should, but hopefully it's working good. So we're actually just coming into uh, Wilson's Flats, so this is a uh, really, really nice, beautiful area. I didn't realize there's actually trailer parking back there too. Just coming into uh, Lake Conestoga. Tons of powder here. Yeah. Yeah, let's see what's going on here. <laughs> it's a lot of snow. Gotta dig it out. I might as well get a rope. You guys got a tow rope or? Are you guys all together? Oh, hey, man, hi. Well, let's see if we can uh, tow it out. Well, we just stopped for lunch in Listowel and we're just going to hop back on the trail. Riding has been superb actually for uh, being close to home. They got a lot of snow here. Honestly, way more than what I would uh, expected. So the trail's been good. They definitely could use uh, a groomer pass just to pack down all the... Uh, I think they must have got some fresh snow. But all in all, it's been fantastic so far. Boys are having a good time, as always. Yeah, they have a ton of snow. Like, look at the snow banks here. I couldn't be happier though, man. What an amazing year it's been for riding so far. Got like almost 3,500K done and like, you know, did the Quebec trip. Now I'm riding close to home and like the snow conditions are just awesome. So, Really, really uh, pleased. It's been an amazing year for riding. We were just talking about, um, I think one of the guys was over at St. Orange, like they have no sleds. Every dealer is like completely sold out of sleds. And uh, it's, it's just great for them. I think they're sold out of boats too, now we're saying, which is just wild crazier but again everybody's kind of outdoors and having a good time so I'll tell you guys a story about Rich the guy in front of me really just goes to show how small of a community the sledding world is but years ago when I used to run the Art of Cats I blew up I think I was around, my, around 20 years old I blew up my 99 ZR500 and I met a guy on uh, hardcoresledder.com that was close to me and said Hey, you know what? I can give you a ZR2600 motor. You can swap it in because I'm going to be putting in a Hooper race motor in mine. So it was actually Rich, who's riding in front of me, that um, I hooked up with then. Anyway, we kind of lost touch after uh, you know I grabbed that motor and put, dropped it in and ran the sled for another couple of years before I sold it. But we kind of lost touch. Funny enough, my brother-in-law who lives in uh, Schaumburg, Ontario, has been telling me all about, hey, you know, there's this guy Rich I met, and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, we ended up, uh, ended up meeting him a couple of weeks ago for a ride, 
And Rich came, he's like, yeah, my buddy Rich is gonna come. And sure enough, it was the same Rich that I had met 15 years ago to, uh, to purchase that Articat motor off of. So it was really good to kind of reconnect with Rich and I've done a couple of rides with them uh, this year as well, which is great. So, small world. Woo! Man, look at all the snow. So we're just leaving our buddies. They're gonna head north. We're gonna head uh, towards a little bit further uh, west towards Milverton area. Snow conditions have been awesome. Boy, boys are having a blast. just came out of the Milverton and area now we're heading into the Swampers Club down towards like Stratford area. Milverton was really rough, super bumpy. They need to get out of the room. This looks much better. So we're gonna head this way for a bit and then we're gonna start coming down uh, back towards Cambridge Kitchener area. For the most part, it's been pretty great riding today though. We've got almost 200k on. We had a quick stop for Mickey D's and we're kind of making, slowly making our way back and around now. This is definitely better. Like we aren't the only crazies out. Just getting back to the truck. If you like that video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the Sled Addicts YouTube channel where we release content on everything snowmobiles. Also, hit that bell icon so you can be updated every time we release new videos.